Hi, I'm Odinga Carr. I am the CEO of Epiphany Consulting LLC, as well as the founder of the HR Success Academy, and welcome to AHA Monday. We love getting the opportunity to bring you these positive moments and bring them to you every week with our AHA Mondays. Man, I just can't tell you what a wonderful experience it is to get a chance to live your dreams. And so that is what I've gotten the opportunity to do. And I love the fact that I get to share that with you. The fact that I get to live my dreams every week as a part of Epiphany Consulting, as a part of the HR Success Academy. We're in the middle of a tremendous launch. As a matter of fact, today is your last day. Today's your last day to be able to get the HR Success Academy, to be able to get, to be able to, to get this tremendous tool that is helping people structure their businesses correctly, to be able to help more and more people do that. We're building a, a, a team here. We're building a clan. And that team is team crushing it. What are we crushing? We are crushing those obstacles that are in front of our goals. We're getting those timelines done faster than we thought we were gonna get them done. We're doing that with HR Success Academy as well. And I just invite you to be a part of our team. I invite you to be a part of my team because it's something that we're doing and I, I wish you that type of success. Um, what I have for you today is something that is personal to me. I call it the ironing board principle. And so what the ironing board principle is, is this, this. When I was a kid, I was a little bit under two years old, just learned to walk, running around the house, chasing around after my mom. And so she was in the back, ironing clothes. And running, ran through the house looking for my mom, ran, she told me to stop, ran running towards her, she was at the ironing board. And she said, right as I hit the ironing board, she said, no, stop, hot. And I threw my hands back. And when I threw my hands back, the iron had fallen off the board. And so instead of hitting me in the face, it hit me on my stomach, burning my legs and going down my legs. I had 30 reburns on my legs. And so it was a horrible, painful experience and Whenever my mom needed me to stop ever again, all she had to do was say, no, hot. And I would pull back and stop immediately because I was immediately perned, brought back to that moment, I guess, where I got hurt. And the thing is, is that the question I have for you today is what are you pulling back from? What is it that you in your life that hurts you? Did you try to get a, a job and didn't get it and now you say, I'm not going to try anymore? Did you try at a relationship and got hurt and say, but I'm just not going to try anymore? Because what happens is that when we pull back, then it, it's muscle memory. We remember that. Now understand this. There's some things in life that will hurt you. There's some things that you should not do. You're not supposed to go play in the middle of the street because you could get hit by a car. There's some very real things that are there. But the vast majority of things that we deal with in our life are false evidence appearing real. Fear. And so we have this fear that's inside of us. And we worry about what it is that people are going to think and what it is that people are going to do. Well, I'm asking you, stand stronger. Stand up stronger and taller and know that you are going to do what it is that you want to do. You are going to do the things that you want to accomplish. Join us. Tweet it out to me. And what is it that you want to so put it out to the world? Let them know. What is it that you're going to accomplish? What is it that you're going to stop letting you pull back and say stop for? What are we going to examine to make sure whether that fear is real or not? Because if it's not real, we've got to move forward to it. It's one of the things that stops us from getting to our goals. Man, 
This has been an amazing time in our, in our, in our, in our business, in our lives. I'm so unbelievably happy, and I'm just so thankful that you're a part of our team. Remember, tweet, tweet it to Team Crushing It. Put it up on our, on our Facebook. Share this video. If you feel like these are words that someone else needed to hear, share this video. And remember, you can always come to our website at www.ojingacar.com, and we will be there to give you more great inspiration. Thank you, and have a wonderful day. Bye-bye.